support our YouTube channel at no additional cost to yourself, simply change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code or use our affiliate code next time you go to make an Amazon purchase. Link to the affiliate code will be in the description below, along with a link to a video explaining more about the process. Hello everyone, my name is Paul from the Paul Does Tech channel and today I have something very interesting for you guys. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the focal point of the video, but for now we're just going to set that aside and explain the background of this video. So for those of you, some of you might be watching this video because you saw the link from a previous video, which actually, the reason I'm making this video basically, when I had my old PC sitting here, I didn't do it with this one, I did it with the old one. I mean, it's the same parts, old case, I guess you could just say. But I did this kind of spoof video where I was mad that I didn't have a can of compressed air and so I just took my vacuum cleaner, did the front panel, did like around the power supply and on the bottom and then what you guys didn't see is like you saw me holding it like I was holding it right here against my graphics card but I was holding it here against my graphics card, you know what I mean? Like there was, I just, with the camera angle I made it look like I was right on top of my graphics card doing it and I think that's what freaked a lot of you guys out and thought I was an idiot. But I tried to, like, I, I thought it was clear enough, like, the whole concept of the video, like, the, the dubstep, this awkwardly serious tone and all that was enough to, for you guys to kind of realize, like, hey, I think he's just screwing around. But I guess not. So who knows? I guess you guys didn't, uh, didn't pick up on that. But that's okay. That's okay. So this is kind of my follow-up video on how to actually clean your PC without the use of a compressed air can, like the, the ones with the long nozzle that you just spray. Because a lot of the people, if you're in a situation like mine, your parents don't trust you worth a crap, and they're afraid that you're going to, I think, like, I think you somehow, like, do something with it, and it, turns, it can get you high or something. Anyway, my parents don't trust me worth crap. So that's why I don't get compressed air cans, and so I kind of have to do this a little differently. So this little device, it's called the, let me see here, I actually have an Amazon thing because it's a really weird name. It's the Gitos Rocket Air Blaster Pro. So I guess the Rocket Air is the whole, I mean, it looks like a spaceship kind of like. Anyway, so you just kind of squeeze it, and there's a hole at the bottom that sucks air in, and it comes out the nozzle. Like it, you just get like that. And here, I'll, I'll do it on my mic so you guys, proof of concept here. I, I apologize for what this will sound like. Yeah, there's air coming, don't worry. Actually, I guess I could do this test too. Here's just a piece of paper I was writing on. See, I mean, it's not the, obviously not the strongest thing because there's only that much air in it. There are different sizes. This is the largest one, but basically, the reason, anyway, the reason this camera shot is off-centered is because I wanted you guys to see my PC. Basically, all you have to do, I mean, it, it's simple. It's, it, it's self-explanatory, you know what I mean? You just kind of, you know, obviously do it in a direction away from your PC, so it's not getting, like, all up in your PC when you kind of get the air out. But I just like doing things like this periodically, like doing the front air intake kind of um, intake grill. I like doing that one a lot just because it's like if that's clean it, it kind of just gives itself more room to protect and, and I don't know if you can see the dust particles flying around right now because I actually did do some new lighting which I don't know if you guys can tell or not but there's a light on top of the camera there's a light over there bouncing off that wall back this way so I'm not sure how good that looks guys um, leave a comment anyway so yeah that's all you have to do and basically use this thing now I didn't turn my PC off for this obviously I've, I'm trading some Forex right now that's interesting might explain that later but I just like doing things like under the PC is a good place especially if you have air intakes underneath near your power supply so you just kind of go around the underneath and that's something I like to do like almost twice a week or so and, and then once you kind of um, yeah, if you see the need, or maybe once a month, actually open everything up, turn the thing off, and air dust everything. Now, I mean, it's self-explanatory, guys. Just air comes out, comes out here, comes in here, dust, be gone. So that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make this like proof of me not being an idiot almost for those of you who think I'm an idiot. 
and I will be kind of like throwing this as a link in that old video for those of you because I, I don't want someone to actually like vacuum their PC and ruin it and I'd feel bad because that would kind of suck like you know you have this really nice PC some idiot on the internet breaks it because of you know he made a joke anyway guys so yeah the Gitos Air Rocket Blaster patented I have the Amazon link in the description below if you want to support the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry my voice is a little stuffy today. I've been popping the DayQuil for like three weeks now. Not really three weeks, but it's been a long one, guys. Um, trying to make more videos frequently. Uh, the reason I didn't have many this week was because um, I, I, we just had a lot of crap going on. And it was midterm week. And yeah. I promise I'm making more videos. I'm going to make a video, and I'm just going to tease some stuff like I always do. Videos coming up, we have the lighting that I just told you about. I have two lights, 216 LEDs a piece. Working on whether or not to use a softbox, how to use a softbox the best, stuff like that. Another thing, along with lighting, is I have some LEDs that are going to be getting in my PC. That'll be kind of cool, guys. Um, that'll probably be like the last step of my PC upgrade for 2016. Unless, 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 I'm probably going to tweet this out and ask you guys for help. I'm not sure whether to go with SLI with my 760s or not. I have a good opportunity to do that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to take advantage of it or not. Anyway, guys, not the, not the subject of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you're going to use non-compressed air cans, get something like this. Don't use a vacuum cleaner, guys. I'm sorry I didn't make that video clear enough. It was a joke. Please forgive me. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.